Hello, I am Sivan Singh. Today I am going to discuss a past year question of ISI, the stat entrance examination of the year 2011, question number 3. This is a question from function. Here it is given that x is a set of real numbers, r is a set of real numbers, and f maps from r to r satisfies this condition. So we need to prove these three things. Part A, we need to prove that f is 1, 1. Uh, Note f maps from r to r f each one one if for every x comma y belongs to r f x is equal to f y implies x is equal to y if this condition holds then we can say that this function is 1 1 okay so let so let fx is equal to fy for every x common y belongs to real number, we need to so that x is equal to y. Uh, since fx is equal to fy implies that f of f of x is equal to f of f of y right because uh, this is a real number so here if this comes in under domain then uh, we can take f then this whole hold, this holds as this holds for all x y belongs to real number and similarly this holds But it is given that uh, this thing is equal to x and this will be y. So fx is equal to fy implies x is equal to y for every x comma y belongs to real number, which means that f is a 1 1. Now we need to show that f cannot be strictly decreasing right b f cannot be strictly decreasing that is If x h greater than y, okay. Suppose not. We prove this thing by contradiction. Suppose not. Let F be strictly decreasing. Then for every x less than y or uh, for my simplicity x greater than y where x comma y belongs to real number 
fx h less than fy this thing works right because f is strictly decreasing by our assumption so this means that f of f of x is greater than f of f of y why because now this is in domain and this belongs to real, real number fx and fy belongs to real number then and f is decreasing so this implies this thing and again this is also a real number this is a real number so taking f this implies this thing right but this is given that this is equal to x this is equal to y x is less than y hence contradiction right this is a contradiction right because then x is greater than y implies that x is less than y so this is not possible right therefore hence f cannot be strictly decreasing okay now in part c if f is strictly increasing then fx is equal to x for all x belongs to real number so let's do this third part given f is strictly increasing right we need to prove fx is equal to x for every x belongs to real number so proof we again prove here by contradiction proof by contradiction uh, if possible let fx is not equals to x for some x belongs to real number okay then there is two case in first case either fx is greater than x and in second case fx is less than x right so so f of f of f of x now let this be x okay then fx is greater than x so f of this quantity is greater than this quantity right and again f of this quantity is greater than this quantity and fx is greater than x right this implies that f of f of f of x is greater than x but f of f of f of x is equal to x is given right by definition so this is contradiction and this is not possible for any x belongs to a real number right now similarly in second part even you can try this yourself uh, just pause this video try it out and 
if you can't let's proceed it uh, we get f of f of f of x is less than f of f of x is less than fx is less than x but this is given that x i mean this implies that x is less than x which is again a contradiction so this is not possible and this is not possible hence both the condition is not possible so from case one and two from one and two we get fx is equal to x for every x belongs to real number so this is part three and this is how this problem is solved thank you and have a nice day